Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Already, when we left off, we had <laughs> been through a creepy bit of lore. Um, we went to the end of that hallway and found out what the uh, the uh, real Legion of the Dead you know, cast really was about. Um, found out a bit about that. Also, we have been hearing things that make me despise the Darkspawn a little more because they seem on par with Goblin Slayer in that regard. Um, and that is also due to the fact that we're, we've been talking to a dwarf that seems to be dealing with corruption, not like Ruck, completely differently. Like actual proper corruption, um, instead of just being poisoned mind, body, and soul. Um, you know, unlike Ruck, which just seems to be mind and body so far, it seems to also be affecting the soul of the dwarf we're talking to. So, there's that. And, uh, I've just been preparing for the inevitable combat, as much as I think that there's going to be it. Because I'm fairly certain there is. Also, I'm going to, as a precaution, <laughs> I have three. Okay, uh, I'm going to make as many poultices as I can, <laughs> uh, because we're probably going to need it, and here's hoping that'll be enough. Uh, when I'm out of here, I have to go to the Brazilian forest for sure to buy a lot of elf root for sure. Ominous door, which we got the key for down in that hallway we were at. Done. Anything else? Yeah. Walk through. Oh boy, more flesh sacks. Enjoy. They took Laren. They made her eat the others. Our friends. She tore off her husband's face and drank his blood. Oh. that, I guess. The dwarves unknown burden. Oh, unknown, you say? I think I know a little bit more about it now. Okay. I'm not sure which of these I've read or not. Stellata Nagat. Huh. Hmm. I'll read this later. Okay. Well, there seems to be a thing there that I can grab. Oh, joy! An autosave. That makes me feel so comfortable. While she ate, she grew. She swelled and turned gray. They remade her in their image. Then she made more of them. Oh. All right, then. Dead cast insignia. A dwarven coat of arms with old ancestral ties. A new field suggests that its bearer intended either to join with the old house or create a new one. Okay. And if proven, the lineage of the dead cast house symbol could lead to the Legion of the Dead being considered as a form of noble house in its own right. 
I want to do that. They deserve it. If nothing else, they deserve it. More fleshy sacks. And a lot of fleshy everything on the ground. I have a feeling I'm going to round a corner and I'm going to be confronted with them. Brood mother, apparently. Brood mother. Hmm. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the name of that. I think I'm heading towards a bad time. Let's see how bad. Just casually walking up. Walking down the caverns. Turn. Ugh. Oh my god. And this is the brood mother. Ow. Okay, so I'm assuming I gotta deal with these tentacles before I can attack the brood mother. Oh, 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 ew, 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 let me, let me go, please let me go, please let me go. Oh, okay, oh that was gross, oh, okay. Okay, well, got knocked down, and there's more tentacles again. And also additionals. Interesting. Okay, so she's going to be dealing with all of that. I'm going to make sure she gets a lyrium potion in her. I am not letting them out. Die. Cool. Okay. There we go. Now we deal with the broodmother again. I don't know why I did that. She can't move. So it doesn't matter. And we get knocked down again for, I'm presuming, phase three. Okay. The shriek. Okay. Gotcha. And I'm gonna deal with you. Gotcha. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can't let her die. No, we need her to live. And I'm stunned. Joy. Okay, let's give her another Lesser Lyrium Potion. Did we actually kill then? Looked like he didn't want to do anything. Well, we managed to survive it. Somehow. That's where they come from. That's why they hate us. That's why they need us. That's why they take us. That's why they feed us. But the true abomination is not that it occurred, but that it was allowed. Branca, my love. Oh. The stone has punished me, dream friend. I am dying of something worse than death. Betrayal. Oh. Rude mother.
It is well known that Darkspawn carry off those captured in their raids to underground lairs. Most assume that the prisoners are eaten or somehow tainted and turned into Darkspawn themselves, though this could never account for the sheer numbers of the Horde. Forays made by Grey Wardens into the underground have uncovered the answer. When exposed to the Darkspawn taint, men are driven mad and eventually die. Women, however, undergo great pain and gross mutations that cause most of them to perish. Those that survive, however, become the grotesque brood mothers. These giant twisted behemoths birth many darkspawn at a time. A single brood mother can create thousands of darkspawn over the course of her lifetime. Each type of darkspawn is born from a different brood mother. Humans produce herlocks, dwarves produce genlocks, elves give birth to shrieks. And from Kunari are born the ogres. I had a feeling. I had a feeling that this. I honestly had a feeling that this was actually how it worked out. That humans make herlocks, dwarves, genlocks, all of that. I just didn't know. That it came from this. Ugh. It seemed to be, like, heavily hinted that this was... That each type of... Darkspawn was based off of a... You know non-tainted equivalent it was kind of I don't want to say obvious but kind of easy to read but I didn't think it was this good god okay well that explains a bit. We got some healing items. What we got from you, Brood Mother? Oh. We got Ring of Selection, which is nature damage. Okay. Got two diamonds. Not bad. Got the Effort Armor, which 15% to healing effects. This is a bit like wearing a portable fortress. Power armor, anyone? The Grey Warden Griffin is stamped on the inside when equipped in a set with the effort boots and gloves and the helm called Duty. The character's spells or talents cost less to activate. Hmm. Good. I'm pretty sure I still have the gloves, don't I? I really hope I still have the gloves. Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm overburdened now. Don't tell me I'm overburdened now. No. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, Ring of Selection gets to go on, I don't know whose fingers. Uh, everyone has a set of rings. Oh, God damn it. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. Okay, there's nothing down here. There's nothing down there. It's just... I have to go back. Okay, Anvil of the Void. Okay, I was hoping that that was the case. Okay. 
So, <laughs> unfortunately, I need to head back to Soldier's Peak as well to drop off some of the stuff I intend on keeping. So this is going to get a little longer than I intended, <laughs> unfortunately. And there we are. Okay. <sighs> I have so much, so much stuff in my I'm, I'm, inventory. I'm, I'm going to double check that I never accidentally sold you anything that was good that I needed. Oh, I could use that, but I'm not going to buy that yet. Um... Sell all junk. Dwarven armored gloves. I'm not sure if I want to hold on to these. I don't feel like I should. I really don't feel like I should. But at the same time, I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I do need more injury kits. That's not going to change. Um... Yeah, no. That's good. Alright. Now I head back to camp. And I'm probably just going to fast forward. Because it's going to take a bit. So, uh, yeah. Be right back. Alright. Here we are again. Finally. Back at the entrance to Orzammar. And, uh... Limited my inventory quite a bit. It helps if I hit the right button. Went down to 56. Hopefully, that should be enough to allow us to continue traveling. Um, also, had sold off a number of other things. Didn't get more elf root. I'm going to wait until after I'm done with the... Oh, boy. Nah, I'm not going to listen to that. Alright. So, didn't get more elf root, but it's fine. We'll be fine without... I'm pretty sure we're at a good enough spot that I don't need to worry about it. I do, however, need to get everyone to do their abilities again, apparently, because I was in camp for a little bit, changing out some... Don't need rapid shot, I need suppressing fire. There we go. Um, I was in camp giving everyone uh, different runes for their weapons. I even upgraded uh, Ogren's weapon to have some... Sure. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Have some runes on it. There we go, that's the word. <laughs> My brain didn't want to come up with it for some reason. Uh, there we go. Cool. Alright, now we're good. Liliana giggling. <laughs> it's something. Anyway, moving on. Heading back down to the trenches and actually heading... No, wait. No, we'll have to... We'll have to head back to the dead trenches. Specifically so I get that... You know, two items... There's two diamonds and the massive armored gloves that I had to give up on because I didn't have enough space. So uh, here's hoping they're still there by the time I get over there. And depending on where the uh, traveling puts me in the dead trenches, I'll just fast forward. Puts me all the way back here, huh? Joy. Okay, well, fast forward it is then. I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, and we're back and we're now getting this stuff and now we're good. Oh, boy. Finally. <laughs> it took about a second, right? Yeah, well, it took about a second. I have a feeling there's nothing behind here, but I just want to make sure... 
There's nothing behind here? Yeah, there's basically nothing. Okay. Well, now we move on to the next area. This is the area we came out of, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, we head here, and we go to the Anvil of the Void. And what we'll see there? Fuck if I know. It's already gotten weird. Anvil of the Void. If Braca is anywhere, this has to be it. She will not be unprepared. Yeah. Makes sense. I kind of want to have Shale here, just in case this jogs any memories for her. I'm kind of curious if that does. Huh. I can't change anyone in the party while I'm here, though. Damn. Okay. Well. What was that? Let me be blunt with you. Oh. After all this time, my tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother you, I hope. Well, shave my back and call me an elf. Bronca, by the stone, I barely recognized you. Ogryn, it figures you'd eventually find your way here. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. And how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? Just the only one who didn't mind Ogryn's ale breath. Be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important Aaron boy, then. I suppose something serious has happened. Is Endrin dead? That seems most likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. Hmm. He is dead, yes. And the assembly is deadlocked. Then what is your involvement in this? Why would a surfacer be interested in dwarven politics? You must have a patron. A highly placed patron. And they must want something in particular. Now, what might that be? I don't care if the assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. The Anvil of the Void. The means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first archdemon ever to rise. It's here. So close I can taste it. I mean... Oh. Sounds like you could use some help. And you assume, after all my efforts, you'll be able to waltz in and seize the anvil without a hitch? How typically arrogant. I mean... The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Carradine himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. That's I've fair. I've given up everything and would sacrifice anything to get the Anvil of the Void. Does that include Hespeth and the others of your house? Enough questions. If you wish me to get involved with this imbecilic election, I must first have the Anvil. There's only one way out, Warden. Forward. Through Caradon's maze and out to where the Anvil waits. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute and see her brilliance. I am your paragon. I see. The whole paragon thing has gone to her head a little bit, especially as she's trying to find the ad anvil. Lilo, I can talk, really, I can. So, can't go back, because now that's blocked off by this. So, I guess forward is all there is now. Enjoy. Do 
Oh. Oh. I needed people. Will the test Keridan's trap? There's no way to bring through it except by trial and error. I sent them in. They were all mine. Pledged to be my house. And they didn't want to help. They tried to leave me. Even my Hespis. So she has gone crazy. I wouldn't understand that when you reach for greatness, there are sacrifices. As many sacrifices as are needed. Ah. Uh -huh. She did go cuckoo bonkers crazy. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that explains a little bit. When did I pick those up? I don't remember picking those up. Anyway. Deal with those. Um... I could have sworn I dropped those off, too. Oh, wait, no, I just picked them up with that big old brood mother lady. That's right, I remember now. I see them. Well, of course there are. Why wouldn't there be? I'll get on it. Can I get you a ladder? Take so you. you. Get and time to do a little of this. This actually ain't too bad, considering. Probably for the best that I start working on these guys as I walk closer to my ranged people. Well, it seems they're able to take care of themselves. Actually, everyone's able to take care of themselves. God damn. It did so well. She swore she'd do whatever it took to find the anvil. There was no other choice. Most of them were dying of the taint already. But some, some of the women were transforming. I knew what they would become. There would be an endless supply, fresh dark spawn to test the traps. They could still serve me, let me find the anvil. It was the only way. So you let them transform? Just so they'd be an endless supply of bodies? Oh my fucking gods. She did go crazy. Holy shit. Alright, alright. <laughs> Well, I ain't letting this emissary get away with doing anything. Ooh. Morgan got a level up. Nice. Okay, well. Oh, at least I got an elf root out of that one. Um, they say your order is now twisted creatures. It makes people despair. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, ow, along with oh, geez. Okay, I'm going to keep getting that, I guess. Down you go. Good. Okay, she's done speaking, I'm assuming. Alright. Level up time for Morrigan. A little more willpower. A little more magic. And spells. There's the rub. Um, some of these spells. Huh. I'm, I've hit the threshold of magic to allow her to get them. Cool. Good. Uh, so, soft cap of 36, I'm assuming, for everything. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. Um, so, what do I do? What do I give her? Revival. I mean, that's an option. Uh, but Death Siphon is probably for the best, considering she always needs more mana. So, uh, yeah. Probably a good one to throw on. No. 
What do you, what do you mean, no? I keep hitting the wrong button, A. And B, should probably put that into her tactics. There we go. Activate mode, death siphon, and that's good. Just so I don't have to keep turning it on every single time. Oh, come on. So many of them. It's like an unending supply. I mean, she wasn't kidding when she said that, I guess. Wow. Okay, well... It seems... Okay, I don't know where you're going. Alrighty, well, there seems to be a lot of fighting in my future. They're in vain. A barrel. Oh, uh, the lyrium vein gives me more magic or stamina, depending on what I do. Okay. This makes sense. Okay. Here I thought it would just give me lyrium dust. That's not what it's doing. Okay. Fair enough. Huh. Okay. Well, I think I need to do a quick mental recap of everything that's gone on while I throw stuff in the junk heap. Uh, so, in trying to defeat the traps that have been left behind, she has been throwing the people of her house at the traps and then allowing some of the women to become brood mothers to then throw more at the traps this time as dark spawn i am baffled that she thought that was okay. But in zeal like that, I'm not entirely surprised that she decided that the ends justified the means. Especially when you put that much importance mentally on what you're trying to go for. She considered the anvil to be so important for her people that it basically necessitated this insanity in her mind. I wouldn't agree. I consider it fucked, but I at least understand her motivations. doesn't mean they're okay though absolutely does not mean they're okay okay green miasma in the room i'm going into that's not good also a lot of these oh i see oh boy Okay, so we're going to be consistently poisoned, as well as fighting off these golems. Joy! Oh, they're just going to be one after the other, huh? Oh, joy. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> Ow. 
Okay, so much for that. Okay, uh, I was about to say she's probably gonna need some lyrium. Okay. Heavy plate armor. Gold ring. Spirit shard. Frozen lightning. All right. Gas valve. I close the valve. Does that mean the poison stops? No, wait. Okay. I guess I need to close all of them. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. There we go. There's those traps dealt with. And now we move further forward. Duster leather armor. I am picking up a lot more items than I thought I would. And uh, I'm getting concerned <laughs> that eventually I will not have enough room. <laughs> Again. And this time I have no way back. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh SpaghettiOs. Well, at least they gave me an autosave. Trap right ahead. Blade trap. That's a new one. Cool. Trap disarmed. Fantastic. Trap right ahead. Okay, well. Time for, uh, combat, once again. Ow. Okay, well, I'm fighting this one by myself. Joy. Oh, boy. Thank you for the heal. And now I can actually... Ow. Cool. Okay. I was about to say. Ooh, Journeyman Silverite Rune. That's not too bad. Blade Trap. Ooh, got more out of that one. I was about to say I had a feeling that was going to happen. Ow. Okay. Ow. I need heal. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be something as I work my way through here. At least I'm getting a little help. Fantastic. Lesser ice salve. That's not something I need. Like at all. And, oh yeah, I got some Concentrator Agent. I forgot I did that. Throw that in the junk, and ta-da. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. What can I do? And get, oh, I can't get him to start that. It's fine. It's fine. Further along we go. And more autosaves. Fantastic. It's making me think this entire area is a death trap. That is a lot of lyrium. Wowzers. Assuming this is the anvil of the void. Um. Looks like we're in for some fun. Maybe. Oh. Forgotten spirits, you say? Uh oh. This can't be good. Alright, 
Okay, so I guess I gotta fight the spirits. Okay. sure I understand what's going on. Don't think I understand what's being asked of me for this fight. And I keep getting stunned, which does not help me. Okay. Um. Rage spirit, okay. You can be enraged. Just, you know, don't continue to be a pain in my ass. <laughs> okay, I get more of those in my system. Alright. And... I guess I gotta kill each spirit for each anvil. I'm assuming? It is done. I... Think I get it? I... I'm not sure I actually get it, but I think I get it. say she's going to need more if we're going to survive this. Okay. Rage spirit should be easy. Ish. So I'm assuming what this fight is asking me for is to slowly whittle down each of these. Oh, no, you did not. You did not just do that. Is he just standing there doing nothing? All right. It looks like he is just standing there doing nothing. You know, it's a great feeling. Alright. Presuming it's going to move over here. And I'm presuming I'm going to need to heal. Maybe I can use this. There. Okay. I'm really getting annoyed that his pathing is getting fucked up like that. Okay. And that should finish it. Okay, well, she is hurt. I'm going to give her one of those. Uh, probably, but right now, do that. There we go. And now we're all good. I think. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're okay. I think we defeated the boss battle here. So I'm assuming that was, yeah, no, not, nothing else popping up. I guess that's it. I guess this isn't the Anvil of the Void like I thought. Okay, well, that's another trap cleared. And boy, these are a lot of chests. 
a lot of chess. I could do that for you. Well, I would hope so, considering, you know, that's kind of your shtick. As you like. Yes, my friend. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'll take all that. <laughs> I could use all of that. Boy, oh boy, could I use all of that. Okay. So, I am very, very, very close to being overburdened. Almost beyond close, one might say. And just to lower some of the inventory I have to deal with. All right. Oh, come on. <laughs> Make me have to do all that again. Okay. Um, aim, and then... No, I need to wait for suppressing fire. Okay, so I'm going to reset all of their abilities just so we're ready for the next fight because I'm sure there will be a lot of it. A lot of fighting because so far there has been. And I think... Isn't there something better we could be doing? Killing things, perhaps? I think after all of that, we will be almost done, I'm hoping, with the Anvil of the Void area. Because, boy, oh boy, a lot of fighting. A lot of fighting so far, and a lot of craziness. Here's hoping it doesn't get crazier from here. Sorry. Probably will. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and fighting my way through the entirety of the Deep Roads at this point. And constantly getting more auto saves, which makes me no more nervous for the next fight than not. But here's hoping... It's not going to be actually all that bad. Probably will be. But we'll still give it our best shot. And hopefully we'll be done. And then I can offload all of the crap I've been picking up. Man, oh man, I pick up so much crap these days for my inventory to sell. And then also, discovering disturbing truths about the Darkspawn and Bronca to an extent. For you!